next graph you can get in your exam is the conduction velocity of the nerves in the frog. So most of the time that uh, nerve is sciatic nerve because we take out nerve muscle preparation that is gastronomous uh, muscle and sciatic nerve. So uh, in that what you are going to get, you are going to get two graphs of uh, approximately equal height and all the rest of the phases like contraction phase and relaxation phase will be of equal length but latent phase will be different like this is the latent phase of first graph and this is the latent phase of second graph. So why there is difference in the latent phases of these graphs? So let us see uh, what we do in the experiment. Suppose this is the astronomous muscle of the frog, this is nerve, this is vertebral end. Okay, and we are going to give this is uh, this is you know tendon and this is isotonic muscle liver. So what we are doing, we are giving a stimulus at two sides. One is this at the vertebral end of the nerve, and another is at the muscular end of the nerve. Okay, so both the stimuli are being given in the nerve itself, but the location is different. One is at the vertebral end one is at the muscle end. Now we will measure the time between between two, two graphs. So this one is graph which is obtained when the stimulus is being given at the muscle end and which is this one is obtained when the uh, stimuli is being given at the vertebral end. So why there is difference in the latent period? This one is latent period at muscular end and this one is latent period when given at vertebral end. So now uh, when the stimulus is being given at the vertebral end, obviously the stimulus has to travel a longer distance. Okay, so that is why it is taking more time to produce the response. That is why the latent period is more for the this one graph. This is vertebral end graph. So this one graph has more latent period. So if we take difference of these two latent periods, we can count the difference, difference of the time. Okay, how much time the impulse has taken to travel from this point to this point. For that, we know the distance. We can easily measure the distance with the help of the NG tape, but we need to know the time gap between two curves. So that will be time taken by that impulse to travel from this point to this point. So what is time gap between two curves? This is. This is the time gap between two curves. Okay, differences between the latent period of the two curves. So how can we measure that? We can measure with the help of the time tracer. This is the time tracer which is being used and more, mostly that time tracer is of 100 hertz. Okay, so length of the one, one complete cycle is 0 0.01 second. So here let us see, so half of the cycle is complete. Okay, this, this difference is equal to the half of the cycle, it means this is equal to 0 0.005 seconds. So let us see how much is the velocity. Suppose this distance come out to be 10 centimeters. So velocity is distance that is suppose is 10 centimeters upon 0 0.005. Okay. So let us see 10. 0, 0, 0 upon 5. So, 5 2000 uh, centimeters or 20 meters per second. So, here velocity that was calculated is 20 meters per second. Now, uh, your examiner may ask that velocity, what is the normal velocity is in the uh, frog sciatic nerve or any other nerves of the amphibian? So usually it is between 20 to 40 meters per second and this is how you have to calculate the velocity. Now uh, velocity your examiner may ask what are the factors on which the velocity is dependent then you can tell you you can tell that diameter of the fiber more the diameter more is the velocity uh, temperature more is the temperature more is the velocity and uh, Species to species, velocity may change like in mammalian, uh, in mammalian uh, conduction velocity is more than the amphibian. Along with that, if there is myelination 
Of course, the myelination, the conduction is in myelinated nerves, the conduction velocity is higher and also depends upon the surrounding media, temperature of the media. So, all are these factors which are affecting the conduction velocity. Along with that, your examiner may ask you what is orthodromic conduction, what is antidromic conduction. So, orthodromic is conduction from cyton to exon, antidromic is opposite to that, exon to cyton. Your examiner may ask you what is saltatory conduction. So, conduction from one node of Ranvier to another uh, node of Ranvier that is also known as jumping movement, jumping conduction. So, that is that occurs in myelinated neurons. So, that is why the conduction velocity is much higher in the myelinated neurons in comparison to the non myelinated neurons. Then, uh, your examiner may ask you classification of the nerve fiber. So, all these uh, are the common questions which your examiner may ask in this practical. So, this is about this graph and common viva questions related to this graph.